I'm Virginia Vincenti, and I'm so glad to have this opportunity to thank FIU for the support that we've gotten over the years for our research on elder family financial exploitation, um, which is a growing problem nationally and internationally. And uh, it's we're focusing on use, misuse of powers of attorney, which are used off uh, widely in end-of-life planning. Um, and Unfortunately, family members are the largest group of perpetrators of this crime. Prosecuting them is very difficult because of the complexity of relationships and the fact that older people, when we finally get, if we get to that point, uh, may not have capacity to defend or to uh, be witnesses in the situations. So prosecuting is difficult. And um, so it, it doesn't happen often that a case is actually prosecuted. There's only, um, and regardless of whether the cases are prosecuted, elders and their families um, are, more, are likely to experience not only financial um, exploitation or loss, but also it affects pe the older persons and their families emotionally, psychologically, and can lead to earlier death of the elder. Understanding factors that increase or decrease the likelihood that this could happen really holds promise for pre prevention. And we are working with both families who have had relatives as power of attorney agents and everything's gone fine. And we've had families where it hasn't and exploitation has occurred and we're comparing to see if there's any difference and nothing has been recorded on those that have not reported which is the larger percentage of cases that have existed or at least the estimates are that it's way over like 10 to 44 times um, the the number that are reported that we have data on um, so we've received four grants since 2011 from FIU Alumni Research uh, Grant Fund, and we're very, very grateful for that. Large grants are very difficult to get because they often don't focus on this. And um, But our group has been successful in getting a number of small grants that we have been able to pull together to get this work done. And um, so thank you, FIU, for your belief in us. And I just want to tell you how we use the funding. We use it for incentives for people to participate in the 30 minute um, survey and for an hour to an hour and a half follow up interview. We've also um, bought up to date um, copies of the soft, the qualitative research software we've been using, and that helps us be more efficient. And we've paid a transcriber to transcribe the audio tapes. And we've also used it for support occasionally, not much, to um, present research at conferences. We've um, just this summer published in the Journal of Elder Abuse, Abuse and Neglect. And previously, we published in the Journal of Family and Consumer Sciences, the Journal of Consumer Education. We have a book chapter in a book called Gender sexual identity and families, the personal, it's political. We're finishing a an extension bulletin. It's under review right now. We've also given numerous presentations at different conferences and community groups to professionals, such as attorneys, where we got approval for giving them continuing legal education credits. We've um, social service professionals, in care facilities, adult protective services, financial planners, bankers, um, educators, extension personnel, college classes, law enforcement, policy makers, senior citizens. And just this morning, I presented to foster grandparents. And we've done church members as well. So since this spring, we have acquired six new researchers, which are uh, just a ball of fire. I'm so happy with them. And they seem to be very motivated and productive. So we are really looking forward to a substantial output and impact this year. 
So thank you so much. We really, really needed it and appreciate it.